terror warning of Western countries came true, but Russians did not listen to it in time. The terror attack at the Crocus City Hall Concert Hall in Krasnogorsk, in the suburbs of Moscow, could be an operation run by Russia's own security agencies with the aim of putting the blame on Ukraine and justify a massive military mobilization of the population. That's according to the Center for Countering Disinformation at the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. The terrorist attack at the Crocus City Hall, Concert Hall in Krasnogorsk near Moscow, may be an operation by the Russian security services aiming to blame Ukraine and achieve a pretext for a fresh wave of army call-up in Russia. Accusations of Ukraine coming from Russia already confirm this version. The statement reads, the Center for Countering Disinformation recalled that the U.S. Embassy had issued a travel alert to American citizens warning them of an imminent terror attack that was supposed to take place in Moscow in March. It was recommended that citizens avoid large gatherings. Similar warnings were also issued by the embassies of the UK, Germany and several other Western nations. Ukraine's main intelligence directorate has already stated that the terrorist attack in Krasnogorsk was a deliberate provocation by Putin security agencies, of which the international community has been warning, the report emphasized. The Center for Countering Disinformation added that the Kremlin had already used terror attacks involving a high civilian death toll, such as the case where an apartment block was blown up on Moscow's Kashirsko Highway in 1999 and the hostage situation at the Nord-Ost musical in 2002 to justify the Second Chechen War and aggression against the Chechen people. FSB director Alexander Bortinkov reported to President Vladimir Putin that 11 individuals had been detained, including four terrorists who directly participated in the attack at the Crocus City Hall venue in a Moscow suburb. Ukrainian drones crash Russia's oil industry, Russians are in a desperate situation. With each passing day, the intensity and frequency of Ukrainian drone attacks against Russian oil refineries increases. Since the beginning of this year, 2024 alone, more than 10 major oil refineries and depots have been damaged, some of them enduring multiple strikes. The main goal of these attacks is to reduce the capability of the military, as fuel from Russian oil refineries is transported to Ukraine where it powers hostile tanks, infantry fighting vehicles and aircraft. According to Ekonomichna Pravda, it is highly likely that mysterious drones will continue to attack Russia's oil infrastructure in the future, causing further destruction and damage to the aggressor. Russia has about 30 large oil refineries and dozens of small ones. The aggressor country produces more than 530 million tons of oil per year, about 280 million tons of which are processed at domestic facilities. Since the beginning of 2024 alone, dozens of Russian refineries and oil depots have been attacked by drones. In some places, they struck fuel tanks, and in other cases, the refineries were shut down for several months due to the destruction, says the source in the Ukrainian parliament. Large-scale attacks on Russian oil refineries began in 2023. In May, drones attacked the Ilsky oil refinery in Krasnodar Krai and the Afipsky oil refinery in Kuban Oblast, and in July, an explosive device detonated at the Kwibyshev oil refinery in the city of Samara. Fuel shortage facilities were also frequently targeted. Since the beginning of 2024, the intensity of attacks on Russian oil refineries has increased. Damage was reported at refineries and oil depots in the Yaroslavl Oriol, Volgograd, Twapse, Klintsi, Ust Luga, Ryazan, Bryansk, Belgorod, Rostov, Nizhny Novgorod, and Leningrad Oblasts, and the city of St. Petersburg. The first objective of the attacks on Russian oil refining infrastructure is strategic in nature. Russian oil refineries are a legitimate target of the security service of Ukraine and defense intelligence of Ukraine, says a source in Ukraine's defense and security forces. Attacks target military facilities or those contributing to Russia's defense, such as ones that supply fuel to Russian military equipment, tanks, infantry fighting vehicles and aircraft that fire missiles at Ukrainians. The second objective is economic. 
The oil refineries not only provide fuel for Russian troops, but are also a key source of income for the nation, which has at times been described as a gas station masquerading as a country. Russia uses the money from oil and gas sales to fight and kill Ukrainians, said an Ekonomichna Pravda source in one of the defense departments.